Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. As you can see, my setup has changed. I'm actually uh, traveling in Florida and I am uh, visiting a friend here. So, uh, like I said, the setup's a little bit different, but it works. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe. And I'm just gonna say uh, a few things about what's in the description box below. As you know, uh, this is a general reading and timing is flex flexible. This is going to be the week of the 24th through the end of the month. Uh, you can check out your other signs or other placements. There is a uh, link below. Uh, right now, um, I'm about a week out for personal readings. So just so you know that, you can check back with me uh, within a week. So I'm gonna say that's you know uh, from the 24th on. And then also, actually I should say it's farther out than the 24th. We're gonna say the first of, of next month of June. Um, I'm already pulling out cards. Uh, lastly, uh, the giveaway and my new channel. The giveaway details are below if you'd like to enter. I do giveaway prizes each month. And then my new channel, Heal to Love 333. I've put some popular links below for opening up your chakras, uh, for healing, removing blockages so that you can manifest love and abundance in your life. So let's get started. I already pulled uh, one card from Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see what's coming in for you all right so your first card you have um is to be fair number 38 which is 11. so you know right away i'm getting there's a, a situation that's definitely on your mind you got never ending story number 37 so you have number 10 you have number 11. i feel a situation is coming to an end I feel it's something that's very heavy on your mind, maybe something you've been waiting for, or maybe you're not taking any action. Um, I feel there's a sense of not you know, being treated uh, fairly in this situation. I feel like you're trying to gain the wisdom um, for this, but I want to say here, and it may be that you're needing to take some sort of action as well. But I want to say you also have the Treasure Island card, which is number nine. So this is beautiful energy. There's um, abundance coming in for you. It may feel, you know, it's not coming in as quick as you want, but there is something very nice headed in your direction. Now, I feel with this never ending story, you're coming to the completion or the end of a cycle in your situation. Uh, so I feel there's going to be a change here. Okay, or there may be something that you're desiring, and as I said, it's not coming in as quick. So let's pull some tarot, see what additional messages come in. I'm gonna pull the recent past, the current energy, and then the near future energy, and then we'll clarify, okay? So let me get a couple more shuffles. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Now this is the weeklies, anything goes. This can be about career, love, finances, situations with family, friends, just whatever messages come out for you. So let's get the recent past for Aquarius. Oh, I got my deck upside down, I think here. Yep, I do. We have the Emperor, we have the Seven of Cups. Let's get the current energy. We have the Five of Cups, the Hermit card, and let's get the Near Future Energy. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Some, something beautiful and abundant is coming towards you with this Ace of Cups and the um, Treasure Island. Okay, so I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. I'm gonna call out the signs before we get started. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, and Strong Virgo. We have Strong Aries as well. Okay, so the only energy we don't have on the board is uh, air energy, your energy here, Aquarius. But know that you, I'm not you, your person, if you're dealing with someone, can be any sign. 
So I'm definitely getting there was some sort of disappointment here. I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, trying to find that inner wisdom as I was talking about here with the um, never ending story. I feel there's something here you've invested a lot of time in uh, and there's times that you feel like you want to give up okay on the situation. So let's see here you have the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. So with the Emperor and the Seven of Cups, I feel um, the, the message I'm getting right now from Spirit is I feel like you're questioning a situation. I feel like uh, you may have a lot of emotions or a lot of thoughts about this situation. I feel like you're trying to um, gain control. I'm also feeling here for some of you, you may have options. Okay, some of you may own your own business, maybe you have a lot going on, um, or maybe you're thinking about starting your own business. But I feel really like there's this is a situation where you have a lot of mixed emotions and I feel like you're trying to gain control, okay? And, and that's, and gain control and some clarity in the situation, okay? With this to be fair card, you have the five of cups and you have the hermit. So I feel there was some sort of recent loss or something painful or something disappointing that you recently went through. It's causing you to do a lot of soul searching, you know, to dive deep within, uh, find that knowledge, all right, find that wisdom. I feel there's a sense here. Some of you, it can be you're afraid of getting hurt again uh, with the snake card, I mean, with the uh, hermit card, you can see there's a snake there. This person is very cautiously walking that path, all right? And you can see that, you know, if this person can't go around the snake because they could fall off that cliff. So I feel like you're being very cautious about the situation. You're not wanting to experience whatever this pain, this hurt was again. So I feel like you're really uh, thinking about this, okay, before taking any action. That's why I was seeing this never ending story now it may be a situation where you know maybe you're waiting for the right timing or you're trying to gain that clarity we're going to clarify as well in your near future position you have the seven of pentacles and you have the nine of wands okay so i do feel like whatever this is for you i feel like you're not going to give up i feel like you're going to persevere i do see um, that you're very invested in this situation and this could be with a business a job It could be a relationship whatever it is for you. Okay, but I do feel here too You could be a little bit emotionally drained or tired from the situation. All right And then you have look at this you have the ace of cups and you have the ace of swords You also have the three of swords here. Okay, so we do have your energy here air energy Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I feel like through whatever happened, you're going through the healing here and it's bringing about a new start for you. It's bringing new abundance in, a fresh start. This also can be a breakthrough to your situation or some sort of clarity or communication. Let's clarify. So let's uh, start with clarifying the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Emperor and the Seven of Cups here, please? Oop. Again, I have my deck upside down. I don't read reversals. Why is, okay, so you have the Knight of Cup Coins. You have the Justice card. And you have the Queen of Cups. And then bottom of the deck here, you have the Tower. All right. So it feels like there was something unexpected that happened, probably caused this disappointment, this sadness, the loss, okay? Um, feeling like you're not getting anywhere in the situation. You have the Knight of Coin, the Justice, and the Queen of Cups, okay? So I feel you're dealing with a situation, um, like I said, feeling like you weren't treated fairly in the situation. It, feels like a, a scenario where you feel like you're not getting anywhere. You may be feeling emotional about it. I feel in your, your situation here with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you've been very kind, you've been very generous 
in, your, in whatever is going on with you, whether you're dealing with a particular person um, or you're dealing with, you know, whether it's family member, love, what have you. Okay, you have the justice card again here. So I feel like things are going to come into balance, but you may be feeling like right now, or this is recent past actually, that this tower really caused um, an unbalance. And I feel like it affected you emotionally. And I feel here too, it also could be, like I said, it could have been some offer or multiple offers and not really sure which, which direction to go in. Okay, clarifying the Five of Cups and the Hermit, you have the Palace of Coin. You have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. And you have the Chariot, Strong Cancer Energy, and bottom of the deck here, yeah, the Three of Swords. You're definitely, I feel, recovering and healing from a situation. Um, the hurt, whatever it was, already has happened. And I feel now you're in that place where it has caused you to do a lot of thinking, okay? A lot of soul searching. As I said, uh, being very cautious about your decisions. I feel like you're being more logical than using your heart in this situation. So you have the Palace of Coins, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. So you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Now you have the Ace of Wands. There's new beginnings written all over this. And you have the Chariot. I feel you're creating a new beginning for yourself. I feel in the current energy, you're gonna start feeling more passionate. Um, I feel with this palace of coins, you know, this can be about you taking control, moving forward uh, to whatever your dream is. So maybe this is about, you know, uh, you know, maybe you have to search for a new home, okay, whether you're renting or buying. Uh, some of you, I feel here, could have lost a place to where you were living, could have lost a job. Um, but I feel there's a new beginning happening for you. Whatever this loss was, could be a relationship. Okay, some of you could have be uh, getting a separation, um, a legal separation, or even going through divorce, but there is a whole new beginning happening for you. Let's uh, clarify, why is the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands here, please? Why is the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands here, please? Okay, you have the Wheel, beautiful energy there. You have the Tower. Okay, so this was Divine Intervention. And the, uh, what is that there? The Seven of Wands, and you have the Temperance card. Okay, strong Sagittarius energy. So they're telling you here that you're gonna need to be patient. It's definitely a divine timing, okay, with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can also talk about being patient. There's something beautiful coming in for you. Look at that, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and you have the Temperance card, okay? I feel this is divine intervention, whatever happened in your situation. They're also telling you here with the wheel, the tower, and the seven of swords, or seven of wands, that you are making progress, okay? You're gonna feel that, that turning point. Uh, with this never-ending story, you may be uh, feeling like you're not getting anywhere, uh, but there is divine in intervention here. They're telling you not to give up what you've invested in, uh, whatever this is for you. For some of you, I feel like this, there is something financial here, whether you're trying to find a new home, a new job. And remember, you have this treasure island. There's something coming towards you, but whatever was happening in the past, okay, there had to be some sort of shift. And I feel with this tower and the wheel, there was divine intervention, okay, to get you to where you were supposed to be. For some of you, this could be new love. Okay, it's new love coming in, um, some other offer that's going to bring a lot of abundance for you. But let's uh, pull, okay, look at that, Eight of Cups. So either you're walking away from something or you're being guided here to walk, about, uh, walk away from something and search for something that's going to be more satisfying, that's going to make you feel good emotionally. So let's uh, pull... Put this card here let's pull the possible outcome thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what's the possible outcome in this situation for aquarius okay look at that you have the three of swords again 
Yeah, I feel like you're going through something. The Two of Cups. Look at that. And the Justice. Justice is coming up here. This can be karmic justice. This can be, um, like I said, some of you going through um, a legal separation or marriage. It can even be a legal situation. Uh, I feel, too, definitely a love. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like what they're saying here, um, I feel like you may be recovering from um, either a, a love situation, okay, some sort of pain, hurt, pain, hurt, or loss. Uh, but for others, it can be anything that's dear to your heart, anything that you uh, was close to your heart and that you were passionate about. But I feel like they're saying here, okay, there is going to be justice in the situation. Okay, there is going to be a blessing, something good coming out of this, as we see here with the wheel and the three aces that you have. You also have on the bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, slow and steady energy. Could be some, it could be a new offer coming in for you. Like I said, uh, you know, this treasure is on a turtle. Okay, so I feel like they're saying here, uh, it's coming, all right? The abundance that you are seeking is coming in for you, whatever it is, love, money, career. Uh, but they're saying it's going to be slow and steady to be practical about it. You also have, look at this. Oh my gosh. You have the queen of swords. Okay. Telling me to, telling you to make logical decisions about this, make head over heart decisions. And then look what comes next. The fourth ace. You have all four aces in your reading. Okay. There is some sort of significant offer that's coming your way okay but it's going to take some time that's what they're telling you it's something that's going to build for the long term that's going to be financially or uh you know if it's love something that's going to provide a lot of security and stability in the future so very nice messages there for you aquarius okay you're you're i feel you're coming out of a cycle here so let's pull some angel answer cards see what additional messages we have for Aquarius what guidance do you have for Aquarius thank you angels let's get three cards all right so your first card is reconsider so this is about gaining clarity you may have some doubt or you may be in a situation where you're going to change your perspective on how you look at things okay but I really always see this card as really gaining the clarity that you need and the wisdom. You did uh, have the Hermit card here as well. Look at that. Remain positive. So they're saying here, you know, you can see this angel's face is very foggy. And you may not feel like you can see what's ahead in the future. But they're saying here, remain positive because there is something beautiful. And the beautiful you can see here is that bouquet of rose, uh, flowers, not just roses, but they're flowers, okay? Symbolizing there is something beautiful ahead, even if you can't see it. Let's pull another card. Improving health. All right, so you did have the Nine of Wands. This is falling with the Nine of Wands. So I do feel like there is... Um, you know, there may be some exha exhaustion, okay, maybe overthinking here, but they're saying here you need to improve your health. Now that may be, you know, maybe you need to get more rest, eat better, exercise, get a second medical opinion. It's going to be different for everyone. And then the bottom of the deck here, you have a peaceful resolution. So your angels are saying here, you're going to have a peaceful resolution in your situation no matter what happens. Okay, very, very positive energy. And I'm going to pull one more card for guidance for you, Aquarius. Let's get one more card for Aquarius. Look at that. The situation will improve. You will see the light. Okay, as I was saying, you, you may not be able to see clearly, but your angels are going to guide you here. Okay, they're going to guide you. Um, and you're going to start seeing the situation improve. So Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, again, details are below for the giveaway and my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.